Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijutel Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these large flowers lacy seed beads earrings. They are easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. And here I have a link for a matching bracelet. Uh, that is why uh, if you still haven't subscribed it's a good idea to do this because uh, sometimes I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Plus you will be inspired twice a week and plus I will be so honored to have you as a viewer. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. By the way, if you don't want to listen to the intro, you could skip it now because I have timestamps and chapters in, uh, in my videos. You could also share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook and Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations down there in description. Find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks. Also a link to my second channel with the fast clips. But now let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 seed beads, white and chameleon color. And here I use earring findings in black color. You could use other color of your choice. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. You could also use fire line. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers. The pliers are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now guys, I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I'm going to pick up 12 of these beautiful chameleon beads and 6 of these beautiful white beads but I will alternate them the following way 2 dark beads, 1 white 2 darks, 1 white 2 darks, 1 white 2 darks, 1 white and 2 more times, 2 darks one white, two darks, and one white bead. Okay, now I have 18 beads in total. I have 12 dark beads and six white beads. Okay, and now I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread. I will stick my needle in my mat, and here, what I want to do is to make a knot, and I'm making it by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made. Then pull really carefully here, really slowly and carefully because you want to be your thread or your knot to be between those two beads where you started it from. Because if it moves, your circle won't work. Okay, now I'm making one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, and when I pull and fix it, this is what I have. I have this beautiful circle of beads. Now I'm going through the white and through the following two dark beads. And what I want to take is just one, one white bead. And as I'm exiting here, I'm skipping this one that's on my way and I'm going through the following two beads. Okay, now I have this. Don't worry if it moves to one side, we'll fix it with the next steps. Now again I'm exiting here next to the white and I'm skipping the white and I'm going through the following two. Okay, I will show you again a white. Exiting out of the two dark beads, skipping the white and going through the next two dark beads. Okay, now I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and in my next step, what I want to do is go 
in this newly added row of six white beads. So I go through the first white in the inner circle and then I go back through the other white that is at the outer circle and I'm going to flip my work just like this. And now I'm going to pick up a dark, a white and a dark and I'm going in the following white bead. Okay. Then again, a dark, a white and a dark. And I go here in the next white bead. Then again, the same sequence of beads. And go here. And now, guys, I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. Okay, guys, and now my row is ready. And what I want to do is exit out of this dark bead after the white okay you see where I'm exiting and now what I need to do is take three dark beads and go in the following dark and also in the white after this okay now I have this now I'm going also in the next dark bead okay and here what I want to add are three dark beads. Okay, three of them. Then as I'm exiting through this dark bead here, I'm skipping the white and I'm going through the dark white dark in one movement. And you see what I have. Then again, three dark beads. Skip the white and go through dark white dark. Okay, and I'm going to continue these three times until the end of this row. If it's too fast for you, what I'm showing, you could rewind the video, you could slow it down, you could pause it, whatever you like. I'm just giving you the idea to follow. Okay, now I have this and in my next step what I want to do is go through these three beads that I added in my previous row. You see where I'm exiting? Here between these and these two dark beads. Okay, and I need three white beads and I'm going in the same place here between these two side dark beads and I'm skipping the three at the top that I added in my previous step okay and I need three more and go in the same place okay And I'm going to take three more. Okay, guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. And here I am where I'm exiting out of this black bead. I just added these three and I went through this one and through this one. And I'm exiting through the bead that's sticking out the most. And now I'm going to pick up three white beads. And I'm going back in circle through this bead here. Just like that. Here it is. Now what I do next is that I go through the following dark. 
and then I exit out of the first white after that that I added in my previous row and now I need three darks and as I'm exiting here I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I go through the white and through the following two dark beads now what I need to take are three white beads and I'm going back in circle here and through the following black uh, sorry dark and through the white then I need three skip the central one go here and exit through the one that's sticking out the most then take three white beads go back through this one and through the following dark as well and through the white after that okay and now i add three more Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and here I am at the last row where I'm exiting out of this way. I'm skipping the next white and this time I'm going in this direction because I want to reach this white bead here. And this is the element I use for my bracelet, but now I want to make a more interesting earring to match this bracelet. You could stop up to here and make your earring this way, like I showed in my previous video, but I prefer to make it larger this time. Okay, now here I have nine beads. Four, one, four, it's nine. And as I'm exiting through this white bead, I'm going through the following white, just like this. Then I want to take nine. Okay, I have nine again. And as I'm exiting through this white bead, I go through the following. Okay, and I will continue this four more times and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, and I'm adding here my last nine beads and I'm going in the same place when I finish this row. And now what I want to do is go through five beads in this direction because I want to find the middle of my work. So this is the middle uh, bead here because here I have four and here I have four and now what I need to take are three dark beads and I'm going back in circle through this bead here at the top okay now I have this then what I do is that I go through these four beads in this direction okay and I pull here you see I'm going through four beads and see where I'm exiting next to this central bead and now I'm going to take one dark bead and I'm skipping this one at the center at the inner angle and what I want to do is go through five more beads okay this is what I do if you can't do it in one movement to do it in two or three movements now again I'm exiting through the fifth counting from here which is the central one and I need to take three dark beads I go back in circle through this one okay then here I go through four take just one and go through the next five Okay, then again I'm showing how to add three out of the central one, add it and go here almost at the angle, okay, 
then here at one and go through five okay and i'm going to continue this three one three one until the end of this row and i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay and i'm here where i'm adding my last bead from this row and what i want to do is go through as many beads as i can until i reach this central bead okay if you can do it in one movement again i'm saying do it in two or three movements okay now i'm going through these central beads and then through this one here okay like this then what i want to do is flip my work it's not obligatory to flip i just prefer to go in this direction as i'm right-handed you could do it in the other direction it's the same thing just mirroring this one okay and i take four and I go here in the central one then again I take four and don't worry that at this stage it's moving around we'll fix it later to stay nice and tight okay I'm adding four here then go through all of those three at the top four and go here through this one then again four then through these three okay then four and through this one okay and continue adding four beads until the end of this row and i'll meet you there okay and here i am where i add my last four beads from this row and now what i want to do is exit through this one here at the top now you see how everything straightened up so nice and i'm going to pick up three white beads and i'm going back in circle through this one at the top now i have this then i want to go here one bead after the inner angle you see where i am one bead after the angle okay here i am and i want to take three white beads and i'm going back in circle through these beads here then again my goal is to reach the angle and i need to take three three beads and I'm going back here like this then again I want to reach the angle and one beat after the angle and pull and I want to take three white beads and I'm going back here through these three And I'm exiting out of the angle. Okay, and three again. Go back. And if you can, just to save time, you could go through as many beads as you can in one movement. I couldn't go through all of the beads that I wanted. That is why I'm going through the following two. This is one bead from the inner angle okay and now i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here i am where i'm adding my last three beads from this row 
and if you want you could go reinforce this row by going through the white beads and through the dark beads at the edge and make them stay firmer okay but now I will show you how to attach your earring finding in order to do this I'm going here at the top I'm taking my earring finding and I take one seed bead then what I take is my earring finding and one seed bead and this is what I have here and I'm going back in circle through this white bead at the top here okay now I have this and I'm going around through those beads and if this earring finding is not well closed you could use your pliers to close it securely because otherwise it will go out of your work okay now guys I'm going to find a place to make a knot let's say we'll do it here okay I'm making here a loop and going once then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and I pull then I go through the following seed bead and I could repeat this knot several more times when I'm ready I go through the following seed bead and cut my thread and now my large flower seed bead earring is ready okay guys and now my large flower seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit that bell button and in this way you will be notified when i make new tutorials usually twice a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself like i mentioned the matching bracelet here and I will be so honored to have you as a viewer. If you want to support me, you could also like, share and comment. And you don't know how much of a help this is. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials. Link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. Mainly on Facebook or Instagram pages. I will be so happy to see your creations. You could also check my Fast Clips channel, also link in description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.